Hi everyone, so welcome back to the level of coding. So in today's video, we are going to learn how to add GitHub discussion as your command system into your website. So this is what the demo look like. So as you can see right here, so on this page right here, hello slash one right here, and I have the command uh, command system that I can use. So you can see it, everything is from GitHub discussion and we set up to your project. So you can do a command uh, and then uh, you can log in with your GitHub and then you can be able to uh, let everyone comment. I'm going to show you by doing it to my blog post. So I have my blog post right here. So as of now, we do not have any comments for each of the posts. So let's see how we can do that. All right, so in order to add a comment system into your website or your blog, so we're going to use the discuss right here and you can go into the link in the description. So the first thing first that we need to do, we need to set up the uh, configuration to our projects. So it will link with your GitHub repository. So you can use any GitHub repository you want. And the requirement is that they make sure that your GitHub repository is uh, public and you have installed the discuss in your GitHubs and then let's see how you can do that so first is to make sure your github is public so see now for my blog i uh, my github is this one so i need to okay so right now so this is my repository and as you can see right here this is not has been criteria for this one so first we need to do is we need to set up the discuss install into our uh, github so right here so right now I have installed into my GitHub. So I need to set configure. You can see right here, you can give access to all of repository, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do that for the select repository only. So I'm going to do delete web coding, which is this one. And we hit save. And right now, if we go back and then let's try again. Uh, and oh, I think the another thing is like when for your GitHub, you need to open the discussion. So and you can come here. And then you go into the discussions and then you so as you can see right now you enable discussion into your repository so if we go back in here and let's try to rerun this one again so i'm going to copy and paste this one and make sure it's run again so as you can see we have successfully uh, linked the discuss with our repository um, you can link with any repositories for your to for your, as your command system um, and then you can put it inside your any of your website and but for me for my case I wanted to do with the repository that link to my code all right so right now we have this one so I'm gonna choose this past name and I will explain you what is different between these two and then for the uh, discussion I'm gonna go with announcement because inside your discussion if you go into your repository and go inside the discussion right here we have different category so you can choose anything so i'm going to go with the discussion right here and then i think this one we can keep it as it is so for the um, color scheme we can choose this one so it's going to give you this one and since this one you can use it as your if you use vanilla js you can put this one on top of your and tell you hat but since my application built using next.js with react so uh, we need to install the just uh, command right here uh, component so right now let's go ahead and install that since i'm using with react so i'm going to choose this one so we're going to do yawn at this one all right so right now we have installed it successfully so let's see where we can set up this one so if you go back into the blog post the blog post will have different paths of the like different blocks and so I want to have each block of it as a, has a comment for it. So to do that, we're going to go into the page right here. For my case, I have to the this one for the dynamic page. So I'm going to set up my command right here. So don't worry too much about this code. And we just focus on the command. Uh, let now let's go into this one and I'm going to copy everything that I have from here. So right now I edit this one. So, and the ID, the command and make sure your repository match with everything information that you get from here. So you can see, uh, we get from this one. Ah, no, I think it was from this one. So you can see you, you, you make sure you copy everything from here. So first it's going to be repository and repository ID. Like so right now if i go back this is my run on my local host if i go here right now we should be able to see this one 
uh let's see as you can see we load the command right here so right now it's not uh, really nice All right, so as you can see right now, I just wrap this one with the component because this one is kind of like related to your parent. So you can set up your parent width and then the uh, component will align to that width of this one. So as you can see right now, we have a command for this post right here. And how do we set this post? So right now, if I do anything to this one, if I set hello and it won't be able to do that if you look at the network tabs. So it's up now. We go here and then let's go into the network tabs. And if I refresh this one, uh, I think it's going to be a little bit slow. But this, um, so for the, it's going to be not found. So you can see we cannot be able to found that. So the reason that it's not found is because first of all, we set the discussion mapping. So basically it will find the discussion from your repository and based on the past name of the uh, our block. So for example, our past name is start with this number and then it will try to look into your repository. So it look inside your repository inside announcement. So you can see right now it's none and that's why it won't be able to find any discussion from here. So in order to do that, first we need to create the discussions inside this announcement and the title of it should be match to your pass of your blocks. So for example, I have this blog post right here. So I need to create this one and then I can start a discussion and we can do, uh, can just do anything. So I think it's a comment for uh, this one. So we can copy the whole thing uh, as a URL or something like that. So right now when we start this discussions, uh, when we go in back, uh, I think when we refresh this one, we be able, if you look at the network tab, it will not uh, read anymore. So I think this is a different. So right now you can do the comment. So you can see we have a comment and then we can say this post is nice, something like that. So right now when you save this one, as you can see, uh, it's adding the comment to your blog post right here. Very nice. So I think that pretty much it for this one. Uh, inside for our case, we have to use this pass right here, this pass name. And then for each of the pass name is we need to create a discussion inside the GitHub repository right here. And then when I deploy this one, I should be able to have this one. So right now, I think that pretty much it for this. So I'm gonna save this one. I'm gonna save this code. And then I'm going to deploy this one again, and then let's see it's in production. All right. All right. So right now the deployment of the new chain has been done. So let's refresh our page right here. And we should be able to see the comments loading from here. So right now it's nice. But each of this comment, uh, we need to sign in with the GitHub in order to comment this one. So right now I've logged in with the GitHub. It's loading back. So right now I'd be able to add a comment. So, but we won't be able to do this because uh, if right now, if I try to adding the comments to here, it won't work because like I said, because each pass is not exist inside the discussion, we not be able to found this one. So if I do the reaction right here, it won't work. So in order to do that for each of the posts that I have right now, so I need to create an, a discussion for it. So right now, for example, I have this four posts right here. I need to go into the GitHub discussions and come here. And then I need to create a each of discussion for it. So I'm going to go for new discussions and then for get started. This is the title and then we can do anything. So you can add anything from here, comment for this one. So, or you can copy the entire pass for this one as well. And let's go here right now. And if we preview this one and okay. So now let's start the discussions and then if we come back here and let's reload this one. So right now it's redo reload. So you can right now you can add a reaction to here. So which is really nice. So all you have to do is right now for each pass of your blog post, you need to create a discussion that map to it. So then you'll be able to add this one. If you have a nested pass, make sure you do that the same and you can add this one. Like for example, you have this nested pass and make sure you copy this whole nested pass right here as your discussion title and it will mapping and allow you to add a comment into your blog. All right, so I think that's pretty much it. 
and there's a better way of doing this one probably we can get a github um api that when whenever we publish a post we should be able to create a new discussion for it so then it would be better for us i think but as of now this is how you do it how you add the comment um, system into your blog post or your website and how you mapping that so there's different way you can map your um for example discussion so it's, it's an example right here it's map the title uh of the discussion based on the title tag so for example you have this title right here and it will look into the discussion that was map matching with this one and you'll be allowed to do that so you can play and try with different options but for my case using past name is uh work well for me and i'm gonna using it so you can use a url as well so yep so you can check out more i put the resources and everything inside your the documentation inside the descriptions hopefully you like this video don't forget to like and subscribe and see you in the guy in the next video peace